my name is Kelvin Johnson welcome to my YouTube channel so today I want to discuss with you guys about the client center for configuration manager so here you see I'm, I have installed the client center for configuration manager on my Windows device so I'm doing this actually from a Windows server but if you are working in an enterprise environment definitely you'll be doing this from your Windows 10 device so um, I'm doing this from a Windows server because I'm using a virtual machine. This, this is my test environment and not a production environment. So if you think, why am I doing it from a um, Windows server instead of a Windows 10? Definitely because I'm doing it from a test environment and not from a production environment. So here I have started my client center for configuration manager. And what do we actually use this to do? We use it to actually um, monitor a Windows 10 device to see if if there is an issue with someone called and we are using an, we are using SSCM, the system center configuration manager to manage uh, Windows 10 and mobile devices. So if someone actually called you and said he has a problem with his Windows 10 device, we can use this tool to manage that device and make sure that we have access to that device. We can deploy software from this tool. We can reconfigure, for example, the, soft, the, the device is not receiving updates. We can re, um, reconfigure updates. We can monitor if the software has been installed and we can also monitor the, um, the installation of updates as well. So I'm going to walk you through the client center for configuration manager. So first of all, when you install this tool and you start this tool for the first time, you're going to see this page. And here you can see we have the target computer. We can decide it to, we are also, if I click this icon here, mind you, if you install this on a Windows 10 device, the best thing you want to do is on a connection here, when you go, just click here on this um, icon here and click the connection options. And here you want to actually put in your user's name. Definitely it's going to be your domain name and your user's name. For example, this is my domain. And then this is going to be my user's name. And then here you enter your password that you use for your domain and just and, and that is it so by doing that definitely it's going to stay like that and also we see we can say okay anytime i put a device here it's going to be the target device and we can decide to use the about to see which version of this software we have installed so if i click the about you can see that there's the version um the current version i'm using right now so let me try to ping this device you can see i entered this device 6001 which is this device over here the device is on so i was able to ping that device but if i try to ping a device that is not available at the moment you can see that it says unable to ping the target device so if i was if i'm able to ping that device well what i can do is i can actually connect to that device so by connecting to that device you actually take access over that device but mind you the user can still be working with his device without him or she knowing that you've actually connected to his or her device so you everything will be done behind the scene here we can see we have different options so first of all we want to click on monitoring you see we have the different option monitoring inventory software distribution and agent settings so on our monitor monitoring we have the overview we can see we have the services here i can decide to restart every single service on that windows 10 device if for example for example i can decide to start the windows uh, windows update service i can decide to start the uh, print puller um service so i can decide to start every single service i can start manually on that device i can actually do it remotely on this from this um, client center for configuration manager as well. So if the service starts started, so what we can do is I can just scroll down. Let me just try to scroll down here. You can scroll down the side. So yeah, we have a service. For example, I can decide to start the service or stop the service. So I can decide to let me just scroll down here. Um, let me scroll down here. Here we see we have the Windows update which has already stopped. So I can decide to say okay, let me start this service from my own from the uh, configuration manager so if i start the service you can see that start pending so the service is about to start so we have the process as well here under the process we can decide to see which application is running behind the scene and also if we decide to install a software we can monitor it from the 
here you can see that um, for example I run I have the TCM setup on that device using this C001 um, using the um, my configuration manager you can see that the CCM setup is still running on that device and also you can see other um, info as well like the MSC set uh, executive is running so we can see what is actually running behind the scene on that device from the processes and here we have the event monitoring we don't have any event right now or the log monitoring as well so we also have the log mo monitoring but here we don't have any info between the log and the event monitoring so if I click um, event inventory here in my inventory we can actually see like for example if I click installed software so by install by opening the installed software we can see all the software that have been installed on that device and also if I go to click um, all updates we can see if we have updates uh, that have been installed on that device so this is a new virtual uh, machine I just installed recently so we don't have any updates or we don't have any pending updates as well so if I go to another software distribution here <coughs> here we can see if we have any application that has been distributed to that device so you can see all the application that has been that has that have been distributed using the uh, system set and configuration manager to that device so we can actually see if there's a success um, um, to that installation or if there's an error so if there's an error you're going to receive an error message but here we see that uh, it says the application will still detect after uninstall complete you can see the installation status it says installed installed and here we see not installed and also if we decide to go to advertisement here we can see which um, the um, software has been advertised to be installed on that uh, device so here so if i decide to click the agent settings here we can see the agent settings of course here it is my the the, the, S the site code of my sscm server and you can see that um, the management point is from the sscm 02 which of course is this server i'm using i'm not going to go through everything right now but let me just so that this video will not be that long so first of all what you want to do actually if you have a for example let's say a windows 10 device is not receiving updates or application and the user complains that they are not seeing you as you have to install a specific software from software center and they are not seeing that software on that device so what we can do here we have the option if I go to let me just go to um, on our agent here we have the PS run the run PS here we have some option to actually do some cool stuff for example I can decide to actually fix when I click fix I can decide to fix a Windows update or for example if I go to get let me just go to get I can decide to say okay I want to see the OS version which has been installed on that device so if I click get OS version it's going to tell me that, okay it's a Windows 10 Enterprise and you can see the version which have been installed so you, here you can see by installing this um, software on your device it gives you some option I can actually get the IP address of that device so I don't really need to ask the user to please tell me his IP address so I can actually get the IP address by clicking get IP so by clicking get IP it automatically gives me the IP address of that device which is the 192.168.126.153 so here if I go to like let me see so we have some other options which you can say um, get um, at this site get model we can get battery status and we can actually go to if I go to do let me just click do here you can see we have some actually say set um, certificate check we can do a certificate check we can log off all users from that device we can run a health task we can do some also um, SCM auto update client but the most importantly what I actually do with this tool is the uh, the fix I use the fix to actually uh, first of all we can fix Windows updates so let me try to okay let me just try this on 003 let me try to connect to that device so it's trying to connect to the device it's taking some time a little bit So I'm connected to C003, which is this device. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you something. Here I've opened the windows. We can see the software distribution, which is actually, um, today's date is on the 16th of May. But here you can see this folder was created on the 5th of May. So if I go back to my server and I try to do a fix Windows update, 
so this is going to take some time so what is happening behind the scene is that it's going to actually delete a lot of registry files try to uh, stop the windows update service delete the software distribution library which you can see it has been deleted already let me see here okay we can see that the folder has been deleted so and it will recreate that folder when the um, when it try to restart the update uh, this um, the update service so it will recreate that folder on windows so let me just try to see go back because it's going to take some time because there are a lot of things happening behind the scene i think uh, let me just try to show you what is going on behind the scene so okay let me try to show you what is going on behind the scene so when you go to your c drive and you open uh, i think it's the program files and here we have the client center for configuration manager and you can see we have the ps script so the ps script actually aligns with everything we are we're seeing here you can see that it's still actually busy because it's going to take some time let me go to fix and here we can see the fix update so let me just right click this and try to open this with uh let me try to open it with uh, with a notepad and click open so you can see what is going on so it's a lot it's first of all it's going to stop all this service and then it will remove some items you can see it's going to remove this folder and then again it's going to actually write host doing some re reconfiguring some registry files and then re delete some registry files as well you can see and then try to recreate them again and start all the services by starting the windows update service definitely that folder software distribution folder will be recreated and you can see right here is trying to reset the authorization detect now and also the report now so this is what is going on behind the scene you can see that it is actually a lot of what is going on behind the scene so let me close that and go back to my c003 we can see that the folder has just been recreated of course this today is the 16th of may so if i go to my software distribution you can see that we have just a few files and again every file which were which have been had been downloaded will start downloading but mind you this is going to take some time for everything to be downloaded so let me go back again to my um, server and you can see that we are still busy with it actually let me close close this so after the fixed windows update has been completed so what we can actually also do is we want to actually update the scan scan update so we can actually scan for update and see if updates are available and also we have the we can also reset the policy you know um in let me just go let me go to my let me just show you what i'm talking about so let me go to control panel and in control panel we have what we call the configuration manager so if i click configuration manager I click configuration manager so it's going to bring up the configuration manager properties so from the configuration manager properties we can actually reset the windows update policy or the software policy for the we can actually force the uh, policies to be retrieved from your system center configuration manager so if i go to action so if I click action here, so you can see we have like the software inventory or the software um, update deployment evaluation cycle and the software update scan cycle. So for the um, software center to be able to scan for the um, software available. So we can actually decide to reset the policy. What when we reset the policy, so all the policy of that um, Windows 10 device will be reset. And also it will try to check again for any available update so we can as well decide to even if i open the console so right now i'm going to open console which is powershell so right now i'm opening powershell of that not the powershell of this device but of this c003 i'm trying to connect to powershell on that device we can actually remotely control that device using powershell we can install software from powershell we can create folders if i decided to just let me just try to see um let me change to the c drive of that device and here i can decide to say okay let me see what we have there on the c drive i can decide to actually create a dire directory temp 
so and if I go to the C let me go to that device here and try to open um, file explorer so if I go to the C drive let me go to the C drive you can see that I just created a temp folder called um, a folder called temp so you can see that the folder is there which is created today right now and if I go to my so I can set to actually delete that folder as well so that's how actually you can take remote control of that device and manipulate and do everything you want to do installation of software uh, installation of updates uh, monitor updates so, uh, installation or reconfigure your update uh, policies as well so also we have the owner custom um, action we can decide to enable the windows remote management which of course the remote management which of course we are enable you to um, do some powershell scripting on that device and also we can decide to start the c drive you can see we can go to the c windows temp folder we can go to the c windows log folder we can go directly to the ccm setup folder so if i click on the c let me just click on the C drive, which of course you can see is with the dollar sign because the C drive is always hidden um, on a Windows 10 device. You can see that by clicking on the C drive, of course, um, it takes me automatically to the C003 Windows 10 device and I have access to the C drive right now. So here also, I can decide to create a new folder if I wish. I can decide to say, okay, let me just create a new folder and call this um, temp2. So I can create a folder from here, which of course I did the same by creating this temp using PowerShell. So let me close close this. And if I go back to my C003, you can see that that folder has just been created, which is called the temp2 as well. So if I go back here, you can see we can also have some other options, but all these are actually gray out. I think for you to be able to use this other option, you need to um, pay for a licensed version of this uh, configuration this client setup co for configuration manager but right now I'm using, the, I'm using the free version which of course may not give you access to some other things you can do and here we still have some other options as well which can say application manager users policy action we can decide to as you can see that we can't use all these options because we need to be using the full or say please make a donation to get access to this feature probably when you make a donation they will give you um, an, uh, a login which you would definitely use to log on to this client um, center for cooperation manager and then you have access to all these other options but this, I think this is all you just need to know about the Client Center for Configuration Manager. And it's, I, to me, I believe this is a very great tool which, we, which, which you can use to monitor and manage your Windows 10 device if you are remotely, if your, um, your company is using the same System Center Configuration Manager. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. And please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, try and subscribe to my channel to get alert and turn on the alert so that you can get notification if I create new videos. And if you think this video it can be of help to someone, you are free to share my any of my video and I will be very grateful. And also, you can also give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video. If you have any comments or you have any question, you can leave a comment below or you can send me a personal email and I will respond to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.